Developing this morning in California, police identified the gunman behind yesterday's deadly standoff at the largest veteran's home in the U.S. Police say it was 36-year-old Albert Wong, a decorated Army infantryman who served a year in Afghanistan. According to a relative, he was kicked out of a PTSD counseling program at the facility just a few weeks ago. CBS's Danielle Nottingham reports on how he got back into the building. I come before the public with some tragic news. The announcement came roughly nine hours after police say a man armed with a rifle entered the largest veterans home in the country, took three hostages, and started shooting. Law enforcement personnel made entry into the room uh, where we felt the hostages were being held by the suspect and unfortunately made the discovery of three deceased females and one deceased male suspect. The tragedy unfolded inside Building G on the campus of the Veterans Home in Yachtville, California. He was armed with an M4 style rifle, 15 to 30 shots fired against the deputy. Witnesses say the gunman walked into a room where a party was underway. This man says his wife was there. He walked in with a rifle, so I think people had a pretty clear understanding about what was, gonna, what was going on. There's obviously no firearms allowed in that building. Police say the suspect allowed most of the people at the party to leave, except for three female mental health professionals. They worked for the Pathway Home, a group that helps veterans dealing with emotional trauma. SWAT teams and snipers surrounded the building after the shooting, but never made contact with the suspect or the hostages. This investigation is going to take uh, a lot more hours, if not days. Friday night, the facility's lockdown was lifted, and its 1,000 residents were finally permitted to return home. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles.